Hi, hello, my name is Gomer Joseph. I hope you've all been having a great day so far. Welcome back to another True Crime Tuesdays video. If you are new, I welcome you. Today, I'll be discussing the unsolved disappearance of Tiara Williams. As I was researching this case, I just felt so awful for her family since they have no idea where she is. It's almost like she vanished into thin air and like most missing persons cases, none of her loved ones saw Tiara's disappearance coming at all, like anything could have happened to her. With this case, it seemed like the family and investigators would get one step closer, but get back to where they started in the investigation. Here we go. Tiara Williams was born on June 18, 1996 in Greensboro, North Carolina. She is her parents' firstborn child and has a younger brother. Her mother and father divorced when Tiara was really young, so she and her brother stayed with her mother, Danielle Williams. Tiara was described as someone who was witty, kind, sociable, even on social media. Her mother did monitor the social media use, which is expected of any good parent. Tiara loved working with children. She joined an early childhood development program and had plans of working with children as a career someday, especially working with kids who had disabilities. During her senior year of high school, Tiara felt the need to be more independent like most people her age do. She decided to move in with her grandmother, not because she had any issues with her mother at all. All Tiara wanted was some independence. In 2014, she graduated high school and took a break from education for a year. In December of 2015, she enrolled in Guildford Technical Community College to study early childhood development. On January 7, 2016, Tiara went to Guildford Tech in the morning to finish her enrollment papers and have her student ID made. After getting that done, she spent time with her mother and even helped to take down the Christmas tree. Later on, her boyfriend Aaron and her younger brother joined Tiara and her mother Danielle. Later that night, Tiara, her brother, and her boyfriend Aaron went to her grandmother's apartment to spend time together. Tiara would tell Aaron that she would be hanging out with a friend named Travis. Now, Aaron never heard of Travis before but thought nothing of it and had no issue with Tiara hanging out with him. At Aaron's place, he and Tiara's younger brother were playing video games while Tiara was out. At 9.30 that night, Aaron did arrive back to the apartment of Tiara's grandmother. He noticed his girlfriend didn't arrive back and she didn't even text him. Aaron would text Tiara plenty of times, but he would never receive an answer. On January 8th, 2016, Tiara still hadn't been seen or heard from. When Aaron informed Tiara's grandmother about this, she called Tiara's cell phone. The grandmother found it strange that Tiara wouldn't pick up and how the only time Tiara had her phone off was when she was working. Since there was no answer, the grandmother called Tiara's mother Danielle, who also hadn't heard from Tiara. Danielle met with Aaron, who informed her about this Travis. The name didn't seem familiar to Danielle either. She logged into Tiara's Facebook to look, to look him up, but couldn't see him in her daughter's friend list. But she did find out that Tiara was messaging her ex. This, this caused Danielle to wonder if Tiara used the name Travis as an alias. At 8 p.m. that night, Tiara was still nowhere to be seen or heard from, so Danielle called the police. This was so strange to Danielle since Tiara never ran away from home before and had no problems at home either. The family began to canvass the, air, uh, the apartment area, but no one had seen Tiara. Danielle would inform the police about Travis and how she believes it was a cover-up name for Tiara's ex. Investigators did wonder why Tiara would get in contact with her ex, so they brought him in for questioning. Now, the ex's name has never been released to the public. The police didn't want it out there because Tiara's disappearance was an ongoing investigation. When investigators questioned the ex, he stated he had no contact with Tiara at all. Obviously, that was a lie since there were messages on Facebook from him. 
he would later admit that he did reach out to her. The night Tiara disappeared, she met up with him in his car. They talked for about 20 to 30 minutes and the ex said that she left and went back to her grandmother's apartment. When the police searched his car, they found no evidence to charge him. Investigators found out about another ex whose name was Trey. Trey cooperated with the police and Danielle never believed he had anything to do with her daughter's disappearance since he was devastated about this situation as well. Billboards, flyers, and social media posts went around to spread awareness about Tiara's disappearance. A Facebook page called Help find Tiara Kasik Williams was also made. Days later, there was a call made claiming to have seen a disoriented girl who looked like Tiara at High Point, North Carolina. This caller claimed to have seen this girl walking down the street wearing a dark jacket. Another witness claimed to have seen Tiara in Greensboro. Police would get two anonymous calls saying that Tiara died and was dumped in a tractor trailer lot across the apartment. Investigators looked into this and found nothing. In other words, this sick individual decided to waste precious time that should have been used to help find out where Tiara truly was. On February 20, uh, 2016, Trey unfortunately lost his life. Police thought it was connected to the disappearance, but they'd later find out he was killed after a dispute with his roommate. On April 20th, 2016, police received a tip from a server who worked at Waffle House. This server in Jessup, Georgia explained how there were a group of girls at the restaurant and believed one of them was Tiara who never spoke or made eye contact. Investigators traveled to Jessup, discovered the group didn't go to that Waffle House anymore. They were pointed to a nearby motel where this girl was staying with a suspected pimp. They would eventually find out this girl wasn't Tiara. For some reason, the family urged investigators to look into Aaron. I'm not sure why, especially when he was hanging out with Tiara's brother the same time she disappeared. Police did question Aaron some more, but they found that he had nothing to do with the disappearance. Aaron would admit that he became depressed and regretted not asking Tiara more about Travis. On June 13th, 2016, one of Tiara's relatives thought she saw Tiara at a DMV in Greensboro. This relative called out Tiara's name. The woman the relative spotted said that she wasn't Tiara, but that the relative should pray for her. Police looked into this, showed Danielle the surveillance footage, and it was confirmed that this woman was not Tiara. With this case comes theories. One theory is that Tiara was kidnapped and forced into human trafficking. Another theory is that Tiara's unnamed ex was somehow involved since he was the last one to see her. The theory that kinda upsets me is that though police believe Tiara didn't run away, she disappeared voluntarily. That kinda worries me because that makes me think the police aren't doing their best to make sure Tiara is found. As for me, I just don't understand why Tiara would just leave when she was just getting ready to start school, but that's just my opinion. If anyone has any information about Tiara's whereabouts, you can receive $10,000. You can call 911, the Greensboro Police Department, which is 336-373. 2222 or Crime Stoppers, which is 336 373 1000. I'll leave this information in the description box. I just pray that Tiara would be found someday. Whether she was taken or did leave voluntarily, she has a family who misses her deeply and just wants her back home. Her mother still believes that she's out there somewhere, and there's nothing indicating that Tiara is dead. God knows exactly where Tiara is, and I pray that investigators would be passionate enough to solve this disappearance and give the family the answers they're desperately searching for. Let's not forget Tiara, and let's not lose hope. That's all I've got to say. If you've got any thoughts in this case, please leave your thoughts in the comment section. If you like this video, please hit the like button. 
please let me know if there's a certain case you'd like me to discuss. If you'd like to see more videos from me, please feel free to subscribe and click the bell to be notified about the next video. I'll see y'all next time for True Crime Tuesdays. I'll talk to y'all later.